Hello everyone, I am Gyan and you are watching the second session of Java and Web, Variables, Data Types and Operators. In this video, I will give you an introduction to the data types in Java. We know that a variable is the name of a memory location. Now we must have some questions. First one is what this memory location can store. And the second one is how much is the size of this memory location. Answer of this question lies in the data types of that variable. Size and type of the data stored by a variable depends on the data type of that variable. We have this statement int a is equal to 2, int is the data type, a is the variable, equal sign is the assignment operator, 2 is the assigned value. A memory location gets allocated for the variable a. This memory location has size of 32 bits, means 4 bytes, because its data type is int. This memory location can store only whole numbers. It cannot store fractional numbers because its data type is int. This time the statement is double a is equal to 2.3. Double is the data type, a is the variable, equal sign is the assignment operator and 2.3 is the assigned value. A memory gets allocated for the variable a. This memory location has the size of 64 bits means 8 bytes because its data type is double. This memory location can store a fractional number because its data type is double. So size of the memory location allocated to a variable and content of that memory location solely depends on the data type of the variable. We will learn more about bit level representation of various data types in coming videos in this session. These are the data types supported by the Java. We have two types of data type, primitive data type and non-primitive data type. Non-primitive data type is also called reference data type. Primitive data types contains boolean, numeric data types. Numeric data type contains character and integral data types. Integral data types also has two parts. One contain whole number integer and other contain floating point number. We will have separate videos on all these data types in this session. Then we have non-primitive reference data types which contains string, array, object, etc. When we declare a variable, a primitive data type, the variable becomes a primitive variable. And when we declare a variable a non-primitive means reference data type, the variable becomes a non-primitive variable. We already declared a variable with primitive data types in previous programs. We declare variable with the int and float data types. This time with non-primitive data type we declare the variable a as non-primitive variable. This time we have the statement string a is equal to hello. String is the data type, a is the variable, equal sign is the assignment operator and hello is the assigned value. A memory location gets allocated for the variable a which contains address. Notice here hello itself is not contained by the variable a. Variable a contains address of some other memory location. That memory location is here. The memory location whose address is contained by the variable a, our actual data is stored on that memory location only. Means variable a contains address of a memory location which actually contains our data. Here a is the non-primitive variable or the reference variable. In the case of non-primitive variable or the reference variable, size of the variable a can be 32 bit or 64 bit, depends on the type of JVM. This memory location whose name is a can store an address of another memory location because its data type is a string. Size of this memory location depends on the size of the string, hello. Primitive data types are most basic data types of the Java programming language. Name of the variable represents actual memory location which contains our data. Primitive data types are the part of the programming language and cannot be defined by an user. We can define reference data type but we cannot define the primitive data types. Primitive data types are the part of the programming language. Till now we used only primitive variables with primitive data types. Only string data type was the reference data type. Here a is a primitive variable and data type is stored in a is primitive data type int. Whenever we define a variable as int a is equal to 0, a memory location of size 4 bytes because int is of size 4 bytes will be allocated with the name a and 32 bit binary gets stored in that memory. Since 8 bit is equal to 1 byte, so 4 byte means 32 bit. That's how 32 bit binary of 2 gets stored in the memory. At this time, I am not discussing much about non-primitive or reference data types. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.